back. We're doing some we're doing some outside stuff today. This right here, let me show you. This piece of fence is what keeps Mr. Blue inside of our yard. And this stuff, if you've not made a fence, if you want to like fence in your dog, this is just goat fencing from Tractor Supply. It's really, really cheap, but it's kind of like, it's not the most attractive stuff. And so we've just got that with T-Post right now. What I want to show you is how to dress up a fence like this, make it look really nice. Over here on my little black truck, We've got some one by four. This is all rough cut hemlock. We've got some six by six posts right there. Six by six posts and some two by fours. And this is all like true to size. This is actually six by six. It's not five and a quarter. I mean, they charge you for a bunch of junk you don't get. The first thing I need to do is make a gate and let me show you the one we have right now. So this is the gate we have right now. Six by sixes, two by fours, heavy, heavy duty. All right, see how it keeps Mr. Blue in there? Beautiful. So, I wanna make one of these, cute hardware. I wanna make one of these gates over there. Same six by sixes with the chamfer. Love the look, I think it's cute. I'm gonna make a smaller one, maybe half the size over at our new section of fence, and then we'll dress it up and all that stuff I told you I was gonna do. And it's hot, boys, it's hot. See, I'm gonna go as deep, can you see that? I'm gonna go as deep as that thing will go. The deeper you sink that post, the better it'll stay there over time. All right, here's where we're at. Holes are dug, you see down in there? Ew. We're right at, tells me on there, we're right at like 38 inches, which is fine. I'd love to go a little bit farther, but I started hitting a little bit of rock and um, I'd rather have it just like set on the rock than go down past it. So, okay, next thing up, six by sixes, turn those into posts, back in the hole, bury them. Trick with burying posts is pour some water on there to tamping down the soil. Well, I'm sweating, I'm sweating bullets out here. taking a little longer than I thought, but here's the gate. That'll work, it's really simple. I just made it out of two by fours, like I said. I don't know, I put the posts in, and then uh, I just took that dimension, spanned the width of that, put some bracing on it, and I'm gonna put that extra piece of fence right there, cover up that opening so Blue can't get out. Let me uh, let me do that, and uh, once we get the gate closed up, then we're just gonna press on with this fence. It might take till tomorrow. I think there's thunderstorms coming, so said we're getting there, though. Two hours later. Right over here, can you see those? I got a pile of one by fours. I cut them 48 inches, which is essentially the 
the same height as my posts over here. This is this is the nuts and bolts here. This is what you click on this video for. We're gonna pretty up this fence line. Those pieces I just cut, I don't know how many I'm gonna need, but I've cut 12. Those are gonna be my verticals. And I'm using, let me show you here. I'm using these little fasteners. You know, they're just like a, a double, it's just a piece of sheet metal that they bend around and uh, it's for holding, I think, wire, but it works perfectly fine for this. And I'm also using just a stainless steel uh, wood screw right there. So you can see that. That's what I'm gonna attach all those uprights with too. So I'm gonna go ahead and bang that out. And then basically all we have to do left, I've got some two inch wood screws. We're gonna screw on some horizontal pieces and it's gonna look like a nice pretty wood fence that we built. But in reality, it's just, uh, just screwed to the wire one. So here we are. All right, guys, there it is. I, I like I like the way it came out. I think this um, this hemlock is gonna look good too, especially when it ages. Uh, if you look at actually this fence over here and the uh, gate I showed you earlier, it, it gets to be like this gray patina type of thing. And it's, uh, I really like it. So we've got the gate installed, the fence post installed. It looks like a nice uh, picket fence, which is kind of what we were going for. And what I personally think is a cheap way to add a nice touch to your fence. And uh, I think this was about, I mean, including the hardware, uh, as in screws, the latch, the big posts for the gate were $30 a piece because uh, actually I bought the wrong ones. But overall, this project might run you 100 bucks, 150 bucks, especially with these, uh, the lumber prices being what they are right now. So I don't know, let me know what you think. If you like this project, let me know in the comments if you've got stuff you think I can improve on, something that would really gussy it up. Um, let me know. All right, that was a quick one, but we're out of here. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.